I was born and raised in the Philippines at age 20. I joined the U.S. Navy, so I served the U.S. Navy for 21 years. After that, I retired and did the teaching part. I joined Regnum Christi back in 2008 when my daughter entered the consecrated life of Regnum Christi. Uh, she had a friend from Fresno State University uh, who told her that there was a weekend retreat in San Jose. And we gave, she asked for permission and said, oh, sure, yeah, you can go. And after the weekend retreat, she came back so excited and she said, Dad, uh, I went to this retreat and it's like, I enjoyed it, I like it. Uh, it's a group of women called Consecrated Women. It, she asked if she could go to Rhode Island for uh, six weeks of candidacy. You're, uh, you just finished junior college and it's summer and you're going to senior next year, so you have to come back and finish your school, right? You, you, you will finish your college. Well, Dad, but if I'm being cold, I, I, I don't have to. No, talk to your mom. Three days into the candidacy, I got a phone call and she wanted to talk to me and I said, okay, what do you want? And she goes, well, Dad, I, 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 I need to tell you something and I, you know, she couldn't tell me what she wanted to say. And then I, said, I suddenly said, hold on, hold on. Whatever you're going to tell me, or whatever you want to do, I'll support you 100%. That's what came out of my mouth. And I could see the joy and happiness in mean, the back of the phone. I mean, I could see her smiles and happiness. But then she said, well, Dad, I want to join the movement. So I want to dedicate my life to God. And But if you still want, she said, but if you still want me to graduate college, I will do that. Oh, no, no, no. Just do whatever you want, whatever you're happy. I mean, I'm okay. Your mom's okay, and I will be okay. So that was it. She left. And two to three weeks later, I woke up in the middle of the night with tears in my eyes. And I said, wow, she's 20, and she's giving up everything. And here I am. What am I doing? That's the question I had in my mind. What am I doing? I'm here chasing the mighty dollars. I'm a person with, that loves material things, Father. You know? And that hit me on, on the head. And I, then a few days later, I got an email from her and said, Dad, did you know that there's a regular Christian movement in the Philippines and they need volunteers? Oh yeah? Okay. Well, who do I call there? I went on a three-week vacation to the Philippines just to check, check it out. My wife and I and my son, the three of us. So we checked it and that's what we got to find uh, out more about Regnum Christi, about the school, Everest Academy, and about Mano Amiga. And we saw the cool people, so this really got us excited. And uh, we incorporated when we went back to Rhode Island to visit her. The school where I was working uh, for offered Golden Handshake. Golden Handshake is offering early retirement to people with less than 15 years but more than 12. And I was in that category, 12 and a half. So I immediately, with no hesitation, I put it in, did my retirement, and that's when we went back to the Philippines for four months. And since then, we've been going back up to today, six months, seven months, eight months at a time, helping out the movement. Four years later, we attended his, uh, her, uh, shall we call the finishing of the formation classes. But we didn't know during those years the school, Mother Ecclesia College, was going through an accreditation process and on that day that we visited her for her supposed to be finishing the course or the formation class, there was a graduation. She was wearing a toga and a black and white outfit, the black outfit, and at the end she received this diploma. And when she greeted us, Dad, happy Father's Day. Here is the diploma you want. I was in tears and God is so good. He didn't forget the diploma, but I already forgot about the diploma. <laughs>